in, in English, uh, not in German, is it? I know. It's in English. So, hi everybody, Yen on the Road here. Um, I'm here to interview the general manager of the that high, Arnaud Giraudon. Uh, thank you for your time, Mr. Arnaud. And um, I would like to ask you a few questions. Pleasure, okay. pleasure. So, um, what brought you to the that high? Oh, well, it's, it's a long story, but uh, basically, you know, the, the, that has always been a, 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 le a legendary hotel, a fishing resort hotel in Asia and in the world. And um, I've got the opportunity through a headhunter in uh, 2014 uh, to be, you know, to join as part of many of the candidates to, to join the data as a general manager. So. I went through a lot of interview process. I was in Vietnam at the time, and you know, after 17 interviews, I got the job. Uh, so now I have the pleasure to manage this wonderful, legendary property. Wow. So what inspired you um, to do the data plan? Well, you see, we, the, we are very fortunate at the data of two things. One is we are totally immersed with a, an amazing rainforest uh, with a lot of endemic species and one of the richest concentration of biodiversity on the planet, where we are, well where we are. And the data built in 1993 already had at the time the predisposition to make sure that it has the lesser impact possible onto the immediate environment. Hence why the villas are placed where they are placed and it's, it's a very scattered property, there is you know, a lot of wood, and it's it basically blend with nature. So when we've done the renovation, you know, I, I thought it was very important that we respect that, and we move forward with that. Together with the trend of today's days and age, we all have to make an effort in protecting our planet, and we have to start with, we have to start with our own doorsteps. So I've, I've decided to put an emphasis, a very strong emphasis on sustainability and to go beyond what other hotels are normally doing or any commercial entities for that matter. And together with a, a team of motivated people, no, most notably our end naturalist, Yershan Mubala, we had the idea to set up this data page. How you um, involve the guests in um, these nature Futuristic activities, mm -hmm. and not a lot of uh, hotels do that. That's true. We uh, we want to make sure that we again part of the place. There is an element of education, either for the young ones or for the older uh, alike. And uh, if if you want to be true sustainability, you, you've got to involve all the stakeholders, right? the guests, owners. Staff uh, and local communities uh, and uh, local authorities. So we have that concept to engage all the stakeholders, that includes the guests. And it, it's also important that whatever they learn, where they are with us, you know, uh, they can implement some of the things back in their own place. So we contribute to promote sustainability uh, outside of the data. What is your biggest achievement um, for the data? For the data or the data page? Uh, for the data. For the data. Well, um, there, there are quite, uh, quite, a, quite a few. A, uh, one of the biggest achievements is the successful renovation of the data itself. Because, you know, that uh, was not easy. Uh, always the same thing when you renov major renovate a property like that, you can be very careful in not killing the spirit of the place, right? So that, that was a challenge and it was scrutinized and we, we've done that successfully. So I think the, one of the biggest achievements is, is, is that, is, is to, to, to do a, a very successful renovation. And the second is this implementation of the data pledge, which it's a groundbreaking, uh, at, at a groundbreaking level. More or less a lot of hotels are trying now to do something around sustainability, but it's generally what we call greenwashing or ticking the boxes, we call it. Uh, we, we try to be very holistic in our approach. We try to blend in with our operation, and, and, and we and, and for that it's 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 groundbreaking. Right. So 
that's, that's something to be very proud of. <laughs> what are your future plans for the Dutch time? Um, well, we, we want to continue developing the brand further, right? So immediately, in the next five years, uh, we are going to develop some uh, very luxury residences close to the Tiny, uh, on the adjacent land, we are, where we have another 55 acres of land. So we're going to develop around 15 to 20 residences with some, uh, some public facilities. Uh, and then we have some uh, projects that are on the pipeline for more data or uh, more data managed property within the next five to ten years as well. Yeah. But I cannot tell you where. That's a secret. <laughs> okay? Thank you for your time. You're very welcome. You. Very, very welcome. Yeah, and, uh, and thanks to you and I hope you enjoy your time at the data. Yeah, thank you. Right, thank you.